this is a war memorial dedicated apparently to those who fought in the Civil War to our dead heroes by the United Daughter of the Confederacy victory I can't make out the last part engraved on this granite podium here and this is at none other than Arlington National Cemetery and it is the latest of Confederate war memorials and statues that are going to be removed hate to break it to you as required by Congress and implemented by the Secretary of Defense Arlington National Cemetery is required to remove the Confederate Memorial located in section 16 of the Arlington National Cemetery a process to prepare for the memorials careful removal and relocation has been completed all bronze elements of the memorial will be relocated the granite base and foundation will remain in place to avoid disturbing surrounding graves no one alive today had anything to do with it and it's been like that for many many years now nobody alive had anything whatsoever to do with the Civil War but what is the real history of the monument? President William McKinley, a Union War veteran who served with distinction in several battles in the Eastern Theater, suggested the creation of a monument in Arlington National Cemetery to commemorate the over 200,000 Confederate soldiers who died during the war. This was the high point of reconciliation in the United States. McKinley thought that such a monument would, as Lincoln said in his second inaugural address, bind up the nation's wounds. McKinley said in 1898, that every soldier's grave made during our unfortunate civil war is a tribute to American valor. The time has now come when in the spirit of fraternity we should share in the care of the graves of the Confederate soldiers. The cordial feeling now happily existing between the North and South prompts this gracious act and if it needed further justification it is found in the gallant loyalty to the Union, the flag so conspicuously shown in that year just passed by the sons and grandsons of these heroic dead. Yeah, it's a tragedy that we've let them get the authority to do this. People with that authority, the way I see it, with the mindset to actually follow through with relocating a statue, in this case, with a civil war, one that you just heard about, or in some cases, melting it down like they've done with other Confederate statues. Someone with this determination is either A, motivated by hate, or B, motivated by another like geopolitical entity trying to subvert the United States as a nation. I think either one of those or both of those is true. Since B, we can only speculate, A, motivated by hate. Hatred is derived from fear, and it is a fear that can be faced and conquered through wisdom, whether you find that wisdom in prayer or in knowledge as in the inherent, unchangeable knowledge of, of human human beings, psychology, so on and so forth. For example, different people do different things customarily across the world and people have different mindsets. It, it, it contributes to the fact that life as a human being is, is pain and darkness. And is difficult and it is stressing and testing and is painful. And humans have done certain things to other humans that they may do again. This is a dark and painful fact, but it happens to be the case. It is what it is. But free will allows people to pursue emotional endeavors. In this case, these people with authority, you know, in the government, I guess no one, no one there is reminding them that time is immovable and the present time has far too many problems of their own in my opinion to morally justify time spent on the feelings that swell up inside when they think about the very 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 distant past